नमस्कार दोस्तों आपका अपने चैनल मनोज गुप्ता एकेडमी में आपका स्वागत है दोस्तों आज हम लोग क्लास सेवन के जनरल साइंस में लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टार्स इस लेसन का एक्सरसाइज करने वाले हैं तो so, फ्रेंड्स अभी तक आप लोगों ने इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब और चैनल लाइक कीजिए और अपने फ्रेंड्स के साथ शेयर कीजिए दोस्तों आप लोग इस वीडियो को अच्छी तरीके से देख करके अच्छी तरीके से सुन करके भी इसके क्वेश्चन आंसर बाहर कर सकते हैं ये है लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टार्स उसका एक्सरसाइज कर लेते हैं क्वेश्चन नंबर वन राइट द प्रोपर वर्ड इन द ब्लैंक्स फर्स्ट वेन सीन फ्रॉम अ ग्रेट डिस्टेंस द स्काई सीम्स टू बी टचिंग द ग्राउंड अलॉन्ग अ सर्कल दिस सर्कल इज कॉल्ड द डैश द एंसर इज हॉरिजोन वेन सीन फ्रॉम अ ग्रेट डिस्टेंस द स्काई सीम्स टू बी टचिंग द ग्राउंड Along a circle, this circle is called the horizon. Second, the dash is used while defining the zodiac sign. The answer is ecliptic. The ecliptic is used while defining the zodiac sign. Third, classified according to seasons. One season will have dash nakshatra. The answer is nine. Classified according to seasons, one season will have nine nakshatra. Fourth, the rising of the sun. In the east end, its setting in the west is the dash motion of the earth. The answer is apparent. The rising of the sun in the east and its setting in the west is the apparent motion of the sun. Now next question. Question number two. A star rises at 8 p.m. tonight. At what time will it rise after a month? Why? The answer is the stars rise four minutes early every next day. Therefore, a month it will be 120 minutes or two hours earlier than tonight. Thus, the star will rise at 6 p.m. after a month. Now, next question. Question number three. What is meant by the sun enters a nakshatra? It is said that in the rainy season, the sun enters the mrig nakshatra. What does it mean? The answer is as the earth changes its position due to its revolution, a different constellation or rasi appears. Behind the sun every 13 degree 20 minute, but this is expressed as if sun has entered a particular rasi. So when we say sun has entered mrig nakshatra, actually mrig constellation is behind the sun. Now next question. Question number four. Answer the following questions. First, what is a constellation? The answer is a group of stars occupying a small portion of a celestial sphere. is called a constellation some of these stars appear to form certain animal or human figures and objects this constellation are known as by the brightest star present in it now next second what points should be considered before a sky watch the answer is all the equipment such as good quality binocular telescope the sky map the compass to show direction are to be gathered before sky observation the place for sky watching should be away from the city and illumination of city light the night for sky watching should be a new moon night for a darker sky now next third is it wrong to say that the planet stars and nakshatra affect human life why the answer is Distant stars, planets, comets, or any constellation do not have any influence on human life. In the age of scientific and technological progress, man has stepped over the moon. Soon in this century, man will step on the Mars too. Therefore, unless it is scientifically proved, we cannot say that stars, planets, and celestial bodies have impact on human life. Now, next question. Question number five. Write a paragraph on the birth and life cycle of stars using Figure twenty point one. The answer is the stars are born out of nebulae, which are the clouds of hydrogen gas and dust particles. In the nebulae, there are particles that are attracted towards one another due to the force of gravity. This makes concentration in the clouds, resulting into denser and spherical bodies. At the same time, at the core of clouds. The pressure of the gas increases. This causes rise in the temperature to tremendous extent. The energy is generated due to this condition. This spherical cloud of hydrogen is called a star. The processes such as contraction, expansion, rise in temperature, etc., bring about changes in the nature of the star. Eventually, these changes are very gradual and spread over a very long period of time. They constitute the life cycles of stars. Astronomers identify these different forms of the stars. 
at various stages during their life cycle. They are then named with some identity. So friends, आज हमारे यहाँ पे lesson number twenty का exercise complete हुआ. Friends, आप लोगों को ये video कैसा लगा? आप लोग comment box पे जरूर लिख करके बताइए. इस video को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा like कीजिए, अपने friends के साथ share कीजिए ताकि उनको भी question ऐसे मिल सके. और इस channel को subscribe कीजिए. नमस्कार दोस्त.